What's up? This thing looks weird. What? There. I need to tilt it more? Yeah. All right, we're That's doing fun. a pod change. So for all those out there, T1D warriors, we know how it is with uh, going in the pool, getting it wet. And uh, she had her pod come off today in the pool or start to kind of flap off. She could feel the little um, kind of the cannula, if you will, that stays inside the skin. And she could feel it. And it's due today, anyways. Out. It's due at 8:40 p.m., but at 6:18. Yeah. Can you go grab your pod quick? Mm -hmm. In your bag, wherever you have your bag. It's over here, right here. So we dosed her really quick. Uh, right at the end of the pool party, we. Courtney's cousin and his wife just had a gender reveal party. It's a boy! And they're having a boy. Congratulations, Vinny and Mariana. Super pumped for you guys. For one time, I was actually right when it comes <laughs> to uh, gender guessing. Normally, I'm wrong, but I was right, I guess, boy. So anyway, we had to dose Nevea for some cake really quick before we pulled the pot off because it was, like I said, falling off. So um, for the, she for dosed herself, brain, got some gluten-free cake. And, and sounds like it's pretty good. Ice cream. Mm. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky change because we are almost out of insulin in this one and we're gonna start a new one. So I'm gonna try and to get as much out of this, here as I can. This is a new one, and this is the last one before we do Humalog. Yeah, so she does Humalog right now, and our insurance when it changed at the beginning of the year um, doesn't cover Humalog, they cover uh, Novalog, which is very comparable to Humalog from my understanding from our doctor and the pharmacist is we don't have to change any of our settings or anything like that. It's pretty comparable and actually a lot of people say the Novalog actually works better uh, with insulin pumps, especially the Omnipod. So we'll see. One bottle left to go until we get to uh, switch over to that because we had a little bit of a stockpile. Maybe we can just get all this without having to do a new one. Oof, it's gonna be close. Yeah, but we have to do that one too. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, this one too. Is there any more of these? Yeah, we're gonna have to start a new one. Dad, we have halfway. We're halfway to Nulag. Dad, this is literally half, so we're halfway. What? Wait a minute. Why is this one already halfway? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody opened this out of turn. Which means, I don't know how long it's been in here, it's already like a third gone. So that means we might try it the next time, but if it doesn't seem to be effective, we might have to switch to the Novolog earlier than we thought, because once you actually open this, you guys know, or if you don't know, once it's opened, you have 30 days to use it up. I don't know how long this has been open, so this already might be bad. I don't think we should use it. Expiration date isn't bad, but once you open it. I think we should use it. Yeah, we'll see. Did you do start a new pod? Uh, we probably could use it like two more times. For, yeah. So the nice thing is, is Nevaeh already took her pod off because it fell off in the pool, so we don't have to do that. Gray, you can go put it downstairs, please. Thank you. Beep, beep. Next, let's get that primed. Austin, can you toss this stuff for me, please? There we go. Priming. Yeah, Austin, can you stick that back in the fridge for me, please? Oh, and Where are we, we don't yeah. have any more Unisol wipes, so we got the Unisol bottle. So we just put it on a paper towel and wipe it off it. It works really nice because it's ju it's juicy and. The other one's just that it's a juicy too, but it doesn't come out as juicy. But this one's better. We should, you know what else we should get? Is some hmm. um, like cop, cotton swabs. Or not swabs, yes. but cotton balls. That'd be work really yeah. well and just get that. That's so that. Really Grab a paper towel. Why? So we, oh, we don't have to take it off. That's right. Never mind. We don't have to use it. Why? All right, so where are we putting it? Um, leg? Tell me. I said we go to your this, leg. This, no. You want to go in your tummy? Okay. This way. Yep. 
put that in cold. No. Keep your arms up now. I'm gonna get some of this goop off there from the last one. Maybe we should have hit this with Unisol first. <laughs> squeeze on your tummy. Why? Because you don't really have much to squeeze. Go ahead. Three, two, one. La 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 I don't know why we do this or why we started doing it, but every time we're doing the la 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 la, like right before she does it, we do all as an entire family. Anybody that's doing it, we do like a key change. La 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 la. I'm like, why did we start doing that? I have no idea, but it works. Got to stick with what works. Magic unicorn, la la las. Is the cannula inserted properly? Uh, yes, it is. I actually have never had the cannula not insert properly. Every time I've looked at it, uh, cannula goes in. So good to go. Pod changed. Now we're going to have the kiddos. Um, they're just going to chill for a little bit, but at some point tonight, they're going to make their school lunches up, get ready for the week, do a little meal prep for the week um, for their lunches. Got some leftover pizza that Austin can take in his lunch. Nevaeh won't be able to, but hey, talk to you guys later.